Olá pessoal, bem-vindos a mais um vídeo no Pleno Mania. Uh, este vídeo vai ser um pouco diferente, vai ser falado totalmente em inglês. Portanto, ativem as legendas aqui em baixo. Uh, porque o meu convidado é em inglês. Hey guys, I'm here with Gary. Uh, also known as Spunky Gas. Why Spunky Gas? So, originally it just started out as Spunky. Long, long time ago. Yeah. Uh, I got the nickname from an old N64 game called Miss the Dark Age. I used to get getting beat by the training dummy. I really sucked at that game. <laughs> the training dummy called yeah. Spanky. Kept getting spanked by Spanky. Right. Um, apparently that was taken by presumably a lot of people, so I had to change it to Spanky Gaz. Just had my nickname on the end of Spanky, mm -hmm. and thus Spanky Gaz was born. So Gaz comes from Gary. Yeah. Right. So what kind of videos do you, do you make? So we've got two channels. Um, Spanky Guys is my channel, the one which I uh, originally used for playlists, just keeping tabs on people's videos. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, just to uh, save videos and use that for viewing things on YouTube. I never intended to uh, use it to upload videos, not of myself anyway, maybe yeah. just random clips or glitches, things yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the channel that we wanted to work on, me and my brother, uh, opened up TV. Again, it's a ridiculous Why? name. <laughs> Why opened up? So when we used to uh, play games together, mainly uh, two players, if one of us died, one of us quite drunkenly would just go ERP! <laughs> so, why derp then? It, it rhymes with ERP. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one is okay. actually a word, it, yeah, it just ERP right. and derp. Right, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a different name. I, I, I kind of like it because there's not... Uh, I, I see it for, by me because, for example, my channel is called now Plenomania. Because it has my name on it, it had to be my name on it. Because my surname, it's not a common surname in Portugal anyway, so I had to use it. Right. So open derp is something that comes out of the, the the usual. So it's unusual, and people might get that into their heads easily yeah, true. because and it's it, it's different. And it came from a night of drinking. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It means nothing. It was just a great drunken sound effect. And then we woke up the next day thinking, what, what, where does this come from? Why do uh, we keep saying it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, what what are your plans for both of your channels? So, with regards to Open Dirt TV, I think my brother is more or less missing in action. I've not seen him for the best part of five, six months. Right. So, um, lack of time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he might come back into it, you know, he might mm -hmm. decide he wants to start recording again. I'm mm -hmm. open to that. If he wants to, not a problem, we'll get filming again. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, though, I, think, I figured since it's just me, it doesn't make sense to have a channel called Erp and Derp and just one of us. Yeah. So, I'm trying to like bring my, my own channel into the light. Mm -hmm. It's been there for a while, I've already got my name, the Spanky yeah. Guys. Why rename myself? I've got a channel, <laughs> let's, let's build yeah, it. Exactly. So what kind of videos are you thinking about doing? Uh, keep on with the, the video game I, stuff? Yeah, I still want to do gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is I don't know what direction to go, because uh, there's lots of people doing Let's Plays. Yeah. Way yes. too many. So you think to yourself, well, how can I make it better than what's out there? You can't. Not with this sort of I have at the moment. Yeah. I've got the right gear, I just don't have the room <laughs> to do green screen or anything like that. Yeah, Nothing yeah, fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've got to be uh, mindful of that. You know, if I do anything, can I uh, add the video to it? I've got the camera, so why not? I've yeah. got a decent microphone. I've got all the right tools, but now I need to figure out what games to play. Whether mm -hmm. it's walkthroughs, let's plays, or just general like glitches. Or... Yeah, so do you focus on old games or new games? I like to try and do a bit of both. Uh, for instance, on Earth and Earth, I did mm -hmm. uh, Outlast 2, start to finish. That was a right. completely blind playthrough. And one that freaked yeah, me out. For... You have never played that <laughs> I've never played before, it before, before making the video. I've not played it since either, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you finished, you finished the game and you just, you just. Oh, I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> That was a good game, I've just not got around to playing it again. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that absolutely killed me on the headphones as well. All right. One of those games, you know, you're just walking by, suddenly, yeah. boogie boogie boogie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rest in peace, headphone users, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, back to my question, uh, what kind of games? The old ones, new ones, a uh, mix of both? Uh, Pretty much anything I can get my hands on, so uh, I did a bit of... Uh, a collection of Super Nintendo games. Mm -hmm. All the rubbish ones, because they're yeah. more fun to play. Let's face it, you don't want to see somebody play Mario. It's a yeah. good game, but you want to play that, you don't want to watch somebody play exactly. it. 
you want to watch all the rubbish games you've never played and see why you've never played them and why you yeah. don't want to play them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, that's that's a pretty good idea because everyone watches videos about Super Mario and all that. Oh, this guy finished Super Mario in like five minutes or six minutes. Why? It's full of cheats and and <laughs> shortcuts and all that. But everyone played Mario. Well, at least everyone from from our age, like 80s, early 90s, everyone played Mario, so the thing is, I think your idea is, is, is correct because there are a lot of bad games and we have to question ourselves, why did they make that game and why did it sell? Be because there were people buying those games. It's <laughs> ridiculous. I would love to meet the people who genuinely shifted maybe 50 pounds to buy Pac-Man 2. <laughs> I wouldn't be Is that the one that looks like an RPG? <laughs> Where he I has legs and, and arms yeah. and all that. Like. He's got legs and arms. I mean, you, the irony is you could control Pac-Man in the original game. In this one, he's got legs and arms. You can't control him, you have a slingshot. <laughs> it's like, sling, go over there. Okay. And he just walks that way. And like, what? <laughs> <laughs> It's indescribably bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know, I've seen your video. Um, for everyone who wants to watch uh, Gary's videos, I'll leave his channel down here and goes here. Uh, so, one more thing. Super Nintendo, Mega Drive, Nintendo 64, which one is your favorite console? That's a tough one. I've, uh, I'm not really sure which one saved my favourite, but honestly, if I was to really choose out of the two, I'd say N64, purely because it had four controller slides, you know, you mm -hmm. able more excuse to play with yeah, your friends. Yeah, yeah, like, for people to play, well, I think Mega Drive had um, some some accessories, something like that, that allowed people to have like four, four controllers or something like that, yeah. but I, I can't remember. I remember something now, have you ever played Sega Saturn? Do you not know? No, I haven't. No? I, I nearly got one instead of a, a Nintendo 64. Too. I have one, I have one. It was like oh, uh, I had a Mega Drive, <laughs> I had a Sega Saturn, I have a Nintendo I had a Nintendo 64. Sega Saturn I used to play uh, Sonic 3D. Played that. The well it was better than the one in uh, in Mega Drive. Yeah. And um, I played uh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I've not it seen It was that. awesome, <laughs> it was awesome, it was awesome. Uh, uh, you have to, to, to look for it. It was really, really quick, really fast pacing game. It was like... Yeah, a fighting game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the PlayStation. From, from Dragon Ball, but it's like, you have to check it. You have to check it, really. Maybe a video. Yeah, Maybe. exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I've never seen a, a Sega Saturn emulator before. Neither I have I. I don't know if there's any. <laughs> I, w I want to go and have a look now. <laughs> I'm gonna look for it. Yeah, me too. Um, another thing, what's your favorite game of all time? As a series, or just uh, a single game, or...? I don't know, maybe... If it's a series, yeah, if it's a single game, well... As a series, right. for me, Final Fantasy. Hands right. down. Right. Uh, if Final Fantasy! Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me to pick which one, I'm torn between maybe 7 and 10. I think... I'll say 7. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a just it depends on uh, what mood I'm in, but I think 7... Just awesome, period, all the way around. Yeah. But 10 had much more to keep you going seven, after. I think 7 is more by for the story itself. It's like, not because of the graphics, because the graphics were like, uh, they were <laughs> all square the and day, all that. The yeah. like ass yeah, it was, was, was really good. Do you know Final Fantasy 7 started being developed for uh, Super Nintendo? And then they 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 started they cancelled everything and started making it for PlayStation. That's right. Yeah, the uh, Nintendo were going to be CD based, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they were they were launching. Um, I think they, they, the there Nintendo is one. Nintendo PlayStation. No, no. There's there's a um, uh, a dock, uh, mainly sold in Japan, I guess. Uh, or was that for Nintendo 64? Something like that. That you could you could uh, put a CD on. I yeah. think it was for Nintendo 64. I, I saw something about that. Now you mentioned it, yeah, you're right. Think because it was the uh, 64 DD. Yeah, I think exactly, it, it got exactly. mentioned briefly on yeah, there, but then never yeah, to be yeah. seen. Because it was only sold in Japan, I think it wasn't that good. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me see. It's uh, as a series, Final Fantasy. Yeah. Gotta be. For me, yeah. 7. Okay. Uh, as a single game. 
not excluding excluding Final Fantasy 7 or 10. I think as of right now, one of my all-time favourite games, mm -hmm. and it's coming out soon, which I'm like a kid at Christmas again. It's called Shenmue. Yeah, the Dreamcast. Out of the Dreamcast. Yeah, Brilliant Dreamcast. game. I had a Dreamcast of my own as well. I, played I had one until last year. What? I saw I had a Dreamcast until last year with oh, yeah. that game and I sold it because I thought Shenmue and HD is coming soon. Fingers crossed, it better do, otherwise I'm gonna regret selling it. <laughs> but I've, I've had it far too long and not played it for even longer, so it, it was yeah. a it was a really good console back then. And uh, I I you know you had to, to have a VMU yeah. to, to save the games and uh, I didn't have it when I bought it. And I bought it with Sonic Adventure, so I tried to to go all through the game without saving the game and without dying. <laughs> oh. And I was like, I was almost, you know the, have you played Sonic Adventure? Yeah. Uh, the, you know the last the last boss fight before uh, the Super Sonic story, the Egg Dragoon, something like that, where you like, you have two platforms like that and you're all, always jumping from one another. Yeah, I remember. And you have to destroy Eggman's robot. And uh, I died there. <laughs> I couldn't go through there. Then I got a VMU and then I, I just, went through all the game, Sonic Adventure 2. I even have Sonic Adventure 2 on my Xbox now. Yeah, uh, yeah they, they made a, um, a remaster uh, for uh, Xbox 360. And um, it was free on the, the Live Gold opportunities. As yeah, they just... say in Yorkshire, hope for note. <laughs> Meaning if you can get it for free, it doesn't matter if it's rubbish. Yeah, if it's no, great, even no, better. But it's, it's a rubbish. good game. I, think, I, think, I love it. I even think that Sega didn't couldn't even do a game that's as good as Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 uh, since then. Since then you had Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog in uh, 06. Was, <laughs> was, was, yeah. It was freaky, like, it was why was horrible. Sonic trying to get his leg over a human girl? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, and, and the thing is, it was really, no, it was horrible, yeah. And yeah. then you had Sonic Unleashed, why the heck? The Sonic turned into oh a werewolf or a werehog. Something like that. What, what could you do with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, it's a full moon, I'm gonna turn into a, a werehog. Hey, mate, while, while we're at it, why not just have Knuckles in his own game? It turns into Ugandan Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, Buddha, do you know the way? <laughs> do you know the way, son? Do you know the way to my own game, my buddy? <laughs> I don't know why well, I've got the arms out there, I'm just thinking of that bit. I think it's so far, I can't move. Oh, oh. Do you know the way, Yeah, but the thing is, that uh, Knuckles had his own game. Uh, well, it wasn't his own game, it was on um, 32X. Uh, was was uh, Chaotix. I never heard something like that. that. Na Knuckles, Knuckles Chaotix, something like that. But the memes ruined it for me now, forever. <laughs> Uh, seriously, I can't look at Knuckles the same way anymore yeah. because of oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave a, a link in the description so you can know what Ugandan Knuckles is, and you're gonna be like, yeah, my Buddha, I know you. <laughs> it's one of those things where even if you don't find it funny, you find it hard to not quote it. Exactly. <laughs> it's like even now you just got my home and like. Hey, my Buddha, I found you, eh? <laughs> it's like, it's one of me. Yeah, it's exactly. one of them. It's so much strong. I, I had um, a program on my, my computer a few years ago, a long time ago. That, uh, you know that RPG maker I have? Yeah. Uh, I had one that you could make a platform game, pa platform games, but you have to, well, it was really hard because you had to draw everything, draw the platforms. And then uh, you had sprites for. Uh, I was trying to do to make a Sonic game even even back then, and uh, we could do like that, like a platform game of Uganda Knuckles. Like <laughs> he goes, he goes to someone. Hey, my butter, do you know the way? <laughs> that could just be it though. But instead of you know, like in Mario, you've got the goalpost with the flag at the end with yeah. the castle. It could just be a big sign that says the way. And then <laughs> exactly. in Sonic fashion, you run past it, it spins round, <laughs> round away. Like, my <laughs> <butter. laughs> I found the way. <laughs> well, that was funny. I really hope somebody watches this and thinks, what a great idea, I'm going to make it. If you do, yeah. let us know, please. Yeah, I, want, exactly. I want to play this. Exactly. If we Come can't design it, somebody make it for us. <laughs> if someone please. makes a Uganda Knuckles game, I will play it for sure. So. If someone does that, even if it's a fun game, leave it leave in the comments here below so we can know. Okay? Just make it free. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Free, fan game, something like that. If someone makes a Ugandan Knuckles game, you will do a video about it. 
<laughs> it's for sure. It's 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 his commitment. If someone makes a Uganda knuckle, uh, Uganda knuckles game, he will make a video about it. So Uganda knuckles. Right. Uh, I'm thinking about something. Why not Sonic Mania? Why not Sonic Mania? It's a good game. Yeah. I, d I don't think there's there's. Uh, I I never search for it, but I don't think there's many videos about Sonic Mania, about like. Gameplays and walkthroughs and all that. I'm not one, saying that no. one thing I'd like to know, and I, I'm gonna look for it because I finished the game without having one single emerald. So I need to know <laughs> where the giant rings are, because I couldn't find them. It was like I was running through the levels, and I was like, "Where the heck are the rings?" I found one. I found one once. I think it's in uh, the first, the first uh, level. It's uh, Angel Island, I guess. No. I don't know, the, for the first level I was like, Oh, an emerald, an emerald, but I lost. <laughs> I never got the emerald. I need to try that. I like Sonic games, I'm no good at them, but... <laughs> well, you know, that's what Let's Plays are there for, they're not walkthroughs. I think they show off the game for how crap it is. Yeah, I think it's the best Sonic game in... I don't know, maybe... Maybe it's a Sonic Adventure too. Yeah, maybe 16 years. Oh no, you had uh, you had a uh, really good game, uh, Sonic Generations. Oh yeah, I Sonic Generations about was, that. was really good. Um, since then they did uh, Sonic Forces. Ugh. I hate it. <laughs> it's too bad. And the, the game is played by missions. And each mission, each, each mission is a level. And it's like... Um, you have to save Sonic because he's... he's He's arrested. He was arrested by Eggman, <laughs> and is in some kind of jail. And it's like, oh, you have to say Sonic. Oh my God, Sonic is going to die. And then at some point in the game, they think Sonic dies, but then oh, Sonic is alive. This is a bit rubbish, Eggman. Yeah. The so the thing is, you uh, you play a Sonic game without playing with Sonic. It's like, well, Why? there are levels where where you play with Sonic, but it's like the most of the levels you play with your avatar. It's like. What? <laughs> it's one of the worst well, games I've you, seen. You just know Mario's gonna try and do this, but apparently they might do it right. I don't know. It'll be right. Mario's captured by Bowser for once. You know, the black <laughs> peach off. Right. And you're Luigi's make your not own. here, so <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna make I don't know Sid the Sparky or Colin the Carpenter. He's the <laughs> You've got to carry on with that trade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Just chucking spanners at Goombas. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me, Mario. <laughs> So yeah, it's a me, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> oh hi, Colin. <laughs> oh, the room reference. The, the room, room reference. reference. Yeah. We had to get one of those in there. Yeah, we have, we have, we have to. We have to like. We have to do. Well, there's already an honest trailer about the room. Yeah. So there's also a game about the room. Yeah. Have you seen it? It's online. No, Maybe. I haven't. I haven't checked it yet. You you sent that to me, but I haven't checked it yet. It's I'm, a flash game, right? I'm gonna put it in the comments when this video goes up. Right. But basically, somebody's made a flash game for the entire film online. I think they've even put more or less the entire script into the game. <laughs> it plays out like an RPG, and you know the funny yeah. thing? Right. It makes more sense than the film. They've actually filled in a few of the blanks between scenes where you didn't see in the film, so you think, yeah. why is he angry at him? What, you know, what's going on? And yeah. they've made the scenes in the game. <laughs> it's got better acting. <laughs> as in, I did none. not! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that bit's in the game as well. <laughs> really, you have to check it. And there's, there's a, um, a movie or a film uh, made from that one with James Franco called The Disaster Artist. It's, you, you've got to see it as well. It's awesome. It's like a behind the scenes, but with James Franco. It so. makes the room watchable, because you watch The Disaster Artist and you think, nobody's made a film this bad. And then you Turns watch out the room and like... <laughs> 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 so it's based on the real story, on the sets. It explains why the room sucked so bad. But then you watch it and you think, right, just watch it without trying to enjoy the film. Maybe play a drinking game with it. Every time you hear a character start the sentence, oh hi, Somewhere. whoever, yeah. you take a shot. <laughs> Believe me, you'll be going to AA straight after that film. I think I've turned into a raging alcoholic within an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I guess we'll stay, from, we'll stay here for now. Uh, we had a lot to talk about, but it's... It's too much for just one video. Uh, thank you for being here with me and for telling people what you like to do. I hope you have new material now, new material now for, for your videos, now that we exchanged some ideas. Yeah. Uh, so, I hope to see you on YouTube 
a little bit more and uh, a little bit more often than lately. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> Hopefully sooner than later. Yeah. Um, I also need to get maybe a new picture because the one I've got at the moment sucks. <laughs> I had to do that one in paint. It's no good. Yeah. So, any offers? <laughs> yeah, if there's any good any good um, designer or something like that that wants to make a, a logo for, for Gary's channel, uh, leave your comments below, okay? Um, well guys, next Sunday uh, there will be a new video at 6pm, you know. Every Sunday 6pm, new video on my channel. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed my conversation with Gary. Not, it wasn't an interview, it was more like a conversation. Um, so I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe my channel down here, don't forget to like the video and if you have any suggestions about the, the contents of my channel you can also leave your comments below. Okay. So guys see you next week on the next video.